So I'm here in the Giants exhibition. Come and meet the Giants. So this is a, a giant relative of the modern sperm whales called Liviatan melvillii. The, the original of this fossil was found in Peru and this huge ancient whale would have hunted a variety of prey including smaller whales and some of the giant fish that lived in the sea. So this is the, the giant extinct shark, Otodus megalodon. You find lots of fossils of its teeth, but fossils of its body are extremely rare. So this exhibition's done a great chance to see a replica of some of the unusual fossilised vertebrae that aren't found very often. So this is Mammuthus primogenius, the woolly mammoth, one of the giants of the Ice Age. We even used to have them in Britain thousands of years ago. This is one of the giants that humans would have met, and there are remains of lots of tools and things and carvings made from mammoth ivory. This is the giant extinct ape, Gigantopithecus blackie, uh, probably the biggest ape to ever live. He lived in ancient China. This is unusual because the only fossils that have been found have been the jaw and teeth. So size estimates are, are very much based on uh, educated guesswork from scientists. So this is Titanoboa serigenensis, probably the largest snake to ever live. Its fossils have been found in what is now Colombia in South America. So this is Paraceratherium, a giant extinct relative of the, uh, the modern rhinoceroses, and it would have lived all across Asia from India all the way through to the borders of Europe. This is the giant ground sloth, Megatherium americanum. It would have lived about 25 million years ago on the grasslands of South America. This is the cave lion, Panthera spelia. This is another species that humans would have encountered. And one of the ways we uh, know what they look like is because there are paintings on the walls of caves in France of the cave lions. This is the saber-toothed cat Smilodon populator, uh, and it would have lived in uh, on the grasslands of uh, South America, a similar environment to the giant ground sloth, and uh, might even have hunted it. 